A sensational new claim by an Emmy award-winning filmmaker has reignited debate over archaeology, the Bible, and profiting from claims about Jesus. Alex Marquardt is in Tel Aviv to sort through fact, fiction, and salesmanship. Jesus' crown of thorns, the pieces of his cross, the cloth that covered his body when he died. For years, the world has wondered, are they holy relics or fragments of a faithful imagination? Now added to that list is a new story, being spun by this man, Simcha Yakabovich, an award-winning Israeli filmmaker. He believes there's strong evidence that the nails that pinned Jesus to the cross have survived. He makes the case in a documentary which he sold to the History Channel. How sure are you that these are the nails used in Jesus' crucifixion? What I'm sure about is that they're significant. They were found in the tomb of a man known to history for one thing and one thing only, and that is sending Jesus to Pontius Pilate, who sends him to the cross. Yakubovich says the two Roman-made nails were found in a tomb, believed by some to be the final resting place of Caiaphas, a Jewish high priest that the Gospels say gave Jesus up to the Romans. Israel's Antiquities Authority says the tomb could very well have belonged to someone else, and that nails are commonly found in coffins from the period, used to inscribe the names of the deceased. Look at this. Yakubovich argues the evidence is strong, that these nails were for a crucifixion. They're bent which suggests they were bent so you can't pull your hand out of the wood. The head is big enough and it corresponds perfectly to the only nail we know for sure was used in the crucifixion. A leap of faith. I think the story here is nails of the cross found question mark, but it's a, it's a, it's, it's a damn important question. Certainly an intriguing one. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Tel Aviv.